Hello and welcome to my indie showcase. This week we are continuing on with games that I was made aware of during the big adventure event. And today we are playing a demo of a game. I'm not sure why I didn't play it. Well, I mean, I know I played as many demos as I could during the big adventure event. I'm not sure why I didn't play that then or how this one particularly came onto my radar. I think it might have just been one of the ones that I missed. Um, like it would have been the next one I'd played if I'd had more time. And the demo continued beyond the festival, so it seems like a good time to try it. So this is Midnight Protocol. Um, it is developed by Lugus Studios. Uh, it is a demo for full game that is available now to buy. And I feel like I should just read the description. Midnight Protocol is a tactical narrative driven RPG with unique keyboard only controls. Hack into servers, beat security systems and discover encrypted secrets while you try to find answers to who, no, to why and how you got doxxed. So that's kind of the description of the game. Um, and as you can see, the first message that it tells you is don't panic. You're not supposed to see your cursor. Midnight Protocol is played entirely through keyboard. Now I did just get a new keyboard, so this seems like a good game to try out my new keyboard on. <laughs> uh, and let's begin then. Enter. Oh, it would help if I was tapped into the game, wouldn't it? <laughs> Enter. <laughs> okay. I haven't even looked at the options because I wanted to show everyone that message that it gave me. Uh, I just want to check that there is subtitles potentially so everything is done via the keyboard no mouse at all which is quite strange um happy with all that um i'm definitely leaving the keyboard sounds on i know that some people don't like keyboard sounds but i really like keyboard sounds um let's start then i have no idea how long this demo is gonna be um ooh. Choose your play style. Turn based. The action is divided into turns. Is this a turn based? Okay. Uh, strategic, the recommended way to play it. And then if you finish the tutorial, you have the option to play as in real time. But it's not the recommended way to play. All programs act in real time. You think the proper way to play chess is with a game clock. You are a prodigy behind the keyboard and a master of tab completion. Unhinged, untested. Okay. Uh, well, no, we are definitely going turn-based. Like you. I'm interested to see how it plays and thankfully Budapest. At least I don't have to be fast. 2062. Fifth, no, 40 years from now? Charges against data dropped. In a surprise change of course, UndigiSec Undigisa has announced it will be dropping all charges against data. A prominent hacktivist at the center of several major anti-monopoly and transparency ops, data all oh, was arrested last year following an identity leak. Okay, are we data? So the like it's not just talking about data as a concept. Data is a person who is yeah, like speaking out against uh well who is anti-monopoly and stuff cool cool press statement reads hold on and they will be dropping all charges why is that after a thorough re-examination of all available evidence the digital security office cannot verify beyond reasonable doubt that the individual in our custody is responsible for the cyber crimes committed under that alias Consequently, we see no elements that necessitate an extension of the arrest warrant. Okay. Uh, in layman's terms, data could have been anyone. Digisex's decision appears to validate widespread criticism that the case was built on shaky foundations. I feel like we got um, betrayed <laughs> from the editorial team at thewire.org Data, wherever you are, whoever you are, keep fighting the good fight. Okay, so all they had was, n like, not solid evidence. Excellent. I am thinking we're data. 
especially when the game said like finding out how and why we were doxxed. I did have to google doxxed and doxxed means like your details getting shared online I think. Oh loud. Glitchy. Oh these noises are piercing. Username. Oh. <laughs> I type noob when it came out as data. Rude. I don't know what the password was. I just had to keep pressing buttons. It was noob space 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 space. Um, welcome. This is your console. On the left are the different screens. Press the corresponding key to show the screen. Oh, this audio is far too loud. Um, I'll fix it in post, but I am going to turn it down in this sentence as well because it's peeking the hell out. Um, different screens. Press the corresponding key to show the screen. Let's start by pressing E to bring up the email. Uh, can I press G, please? Let me in a sentence. Nope. Oh, enter. Still not allowed. All right. Uh. So this is our email inbox from Clover. Welcome back. Look, I'm done trying to talk you out of it. They went easy on you this time and you want to get right back into it? Shit, data. You're violating parole just getting anywhere near a deck. Fine, I know there's no change in your mind anyway. I'm sending you back that old terminal you wanted me to have. It's pretty bare bones, but it should get the job done. Snail had his eye on some easy marks for you. You'll want the funds, I guess. Hey, data, don't disappear on me again, okay? Be careful, be safe. All right, so we are just getting, jumping back into it. Well, I'm gonna be nice, I don't know. I'm not gonna be cocky if that's what the easy marks was. Uh, oh, oh. Thanks Clover, appreciate it, but easy marks are... <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Again. Okay, so I have to press buttons for every letter there. Address received, mission added to address panel. Clover's message provided you with a network address so you can use the address screen to see all available addresses. Okay, can I settings please? Nope. Uh, addresses then. Uh, select a mission to initiate a hacking run. Some missions have requirements which are listed on the right. Ah, okay. Here you can select an address you have collected to initiate a hack on the network. Select plug it in mission by pressing enter. Okay, select. So it says something port scanner, financial node, no ice, two node network. None of this means anything to me right now. Oh, I really dislike that it's not letting me into the settings. <laughs> okay. You have breached the network. A network consists of several nodes, two in this case. So this is the network, right? Your current position is the access node. You will always start on an access node. The game is played over a series of turns. During your turn, you can perform two actions, like XCOM. You can spend an action to move, run, or remove a program, interface with a node, or exit the network. Your remaining number of actions is displayed in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Okay, yep. You can move to an adjacent node by typing move. Ah, followed by the address of the node. Enter move F0 to travel to the finance node. Oh god. This is going to take me ages. Is that right? Oh, does it need a space? Yeah. Uh, most nodes have a special interface action you can use. The current nodes in- hold on. Interface, yeah, not interference. <laughs> Most nodes have a special interface you can use. Your current nodes 
interface action is explained at the bottom of the screen. The node you are on is a finance node. This node type contains financial records that can be funneled to your account. Wait, are we just stealing money? Um, so use an interface action drain. Transfer 30 credits from this node to your personal account. Whose account is this? Uh, I'm taking it. <laughs> Good work. The ring around financial node indicates how many credits remain. The ring. So it's 20 out of 50, but I don't know what it means. You're out of action, so let's pass the turn to the network with the end command. During its turn, the network will trace your position. It, so the network is like the program we're in or something? <laughs> or is it the internet? I'm not sure. Once the trace bar in the top right corner of the screen is filled, the network will start to drain your credits, destroy your assets or worse. Try to complete your objectives before the network trace is complete. Right, so that's how many turns we have. So we have one, two, three, four, six in total. Drain the financial node before that happens. Use the inter- yep, 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 okay. So we're gonna get the other- Oh, the ring is in those white lines. Got it. We're gonna get it finished this time, yeah. Uh, great, the network has been picked clean. At any given time, you can use the exit command to leave a network. Note the exit in the network will also require an action. Right. Use the exit command now to end the mission. Right, so it's like evacuating, kind of, except we're done, so we're actually extracting. <laughs> uh, once you leave a mission, you cannot replay it. Yes, it's, that is what it told us to do, I think. A plus. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Call me Control Pro, please. You are welcome. <laughs> I have another email. Can I go in settings yet? Nope. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. I figured you might like some low hanging fruit. You spent a year AFK and stuff evolves fast. We've been, uh, what, arrested for a year? Your words, if I, it, does IIRC mean if I remember correctly? I think. Uh, snail's looking into this kraken you're after. Ooh. Can't hurt to keep a low profile until we have something concrete, right? Here's another pretty dull one. I mean, I know it's not an actual kraken, but that's a good name. Uh, I'm not going to be cocky. I'm also not going to type it. <laughs> good point. I'll keep my head down. I can't even hold the button. Just let me know as soon as you have any le anything on Kraken. Okay. So we've got another address. What, another lead? Easy mark. Let's do it. Belly protected fringe network. Score some easy credits. Is credits money? Imagine being able to cause absolute havoc from your computer. Right, this net, I mean, some people can. This net, I mean, I kind of do, but not in that way. <laughs> um, this network has two financial nodes. Your obje objective is to drain both. Remember that you can use move to move between the nodes and interface to interact with the node. Yep, and we'll pass the turn to the network. For now, the exit command has been disabled. Fair. Uh, so we need to move to F0 and then we just drain and everything. Are we gonna, yeah, there's only two nodes, so we're definitely going to have enough time. You can spend an action to run a program from your deck. The programs bring you on a, the programs you bring on a mission will determine your strategy. Oh. You start a program by typing its name. For instance, the program cloak will slow down the network's trace attempts. Type cloak in your console to run it. All right. Uh, how do we, is there a list of programs that we brought? Um, 
Well done, when clock is active, you have a chance to evade the network trace that turn, bringing you more time. Oh, it's like RNG based as well, probably. Your active programs appear on the left side of your screen. Right, that's not active ones, but what what else? Hmm. Uh, seventy five percent to slow down. An active program requires processing power. You currently have eight processing slices at your disposal. Right now, Cloak is using all eight. Ah, the more slices assigned to a program, the more efficiently it will run. Oh, so like we could probably run another program. But it wouldn't have as many slices, so it would maybe only give us 50% chance to slow down or something like that. That's cool that you can like delegate where you want to put your thingies. Drain. Uh, drain. Oh. End, sorry. Well. That freaking 25% chance. Manually interfacing with a financial node is tedious process. The leech program can only be used on financial nodes and will automatically drain them for you. Remember, you can run a program by typing its name. Why didn't you tell me this before I already drained twice? Uh, leech. Leech can't be started because Cloak is eating up all the available process and slices. The slice command can be used to redistribute them. And a slice cloak four to reduce its slices to four. Okay, then uh, this will make cloak less efficient but frees up slices for leech. Yep, that's what I what thought. Slice cloak four. This, like, I feel like this, if you learn the commands and then go away and then come back. It's like having to remember. I feel like I'm coding or something. <laughs> um, great. Redistributing slices does not take an action, so use it often. Ah, that's good. So you can kind of respec it each turn. Although turning a program on uses an action, right? Uh, now try run and leech again. Remember you stop. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Got it. Leech is now installed on this node and will drain credits every turn, saving you actions. So I could probably move on to the next one and maybe it'll continue draining this one for me. Assigning more slices to cloak leaves makes the network trace slower, giving more to leech makes it drain credits faster. Yeah. There are three commands you can use to manage your slices. Slice, slow, and slow down. You'll learn about these as you go along. You can remove a program with the remove command, for instance remove leech or to remove leech. Removing cost and action, that makes sense. Practice using leech and cloak to drain the rest of the credits. When you are ready, exit the network with the exit command. You can install multiple instances of leech on different nodes. Ah, if you are stuck, use the help command to see all available commands. Oh, that's good. Help, that is a good command. Follow information and examples on a specific command. Enter help followed by the command name. Oh, for information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, to get help on the slice. Yes, help slice. So this is draining. So that's going to be done on the next turn. So we can use our move, right, to move to the next one. And then we can put a leech on the next one and remove the slices from this one because it'll be done. Or it might remove itself. I don't know. Let's move to F1. Hopefully it keeps doing it while we're not on it, because that surely is the point. Oh, this one only has 50. Whoops. We're fine. I don't even think we need the uh, thingy other one. Slow down. What's it called? Cloak. Um, so, okay, it's deleted the other program. So we could technically just put all of our slices back onto the other one if we wanted but uh the tracing failed that time gideon wait and it's only a 37 percent chance and this time it worked low percentages for the win so i've forgotten the command <laughs> leech <laughs> uh, so that's leeching and then i can also drain it right and then We'll finish it on the next turn. 
Oh, we finished it on this turn. Because the leech drained some, I guess. Or we could have also just taken the slices out of the other one, put them in the leech, and it probably would have drained it all itself anyway. We can't end the turn. Uh, we can't exit because it's not our turn. Failed again? Huh. Nice. Right, let's exit because we're done here. I understand so far. I wonder what else there is because it's not just going to be about draining funds, is it? We have another email or credits, whatever they are. Yeah. Settings? Nope. Oh, look, and like we've got the deck. Isn't that where we our programs are so we can choose which programs and stuff like that? Right. Uh, no worries, we'll do. As soon as Snail digs something up, you'll hear about it. Still wondering though. Yeah, Kraken put you behind bars, but don't you think you're maybe rushing into things a bit? You had me pretty worried when you vanished. You trusted me before, so trust me on this one as well. Let me handle things for now. I don't trust you, Clover. Maybe you're cracking. Anyway, in the meantime, here's a good payout. If Snail's search pans out, you might need the money soon enough. Oh, and we can probably put the money into buying programs and stuff. Oh, the black market, yeah. So, Kraken is the one that docks to us, I guess. Alright, just get it done. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but I'm not going to pretend to trust them. I've had it with playing dead, staying off the radar. Oh, maybe we weren't arrested for the fall. Yeah, maybe we had to like go and hide. I didn't mean to be rude. Uh, right, we have a new address. Another tip from Clover. Clover, a modestly protected network with financial and data nodes. Right. So we're going to learn about data. Like actual data, not just us. Reroute. What does that mean? Decrease the trace by three. Oh. That seems useful. Right, move to financial node. Move. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> this connection is protected by ice. When you try to cross a protected connection, you trigger the ice. These are types of... No. <laughs> there are many types of ice, each with its own effect. This binary wall, for instance, stops you dead in your tracks and increases the network trace. Ah, it's like a security wall. Other ice may let you pass instead, hindering your progress in other ways. Uh, is there any way we can like test for these before we move? Breaker programs help you deal with ice. You have one in your deck. Dagger. Run the dagger program now. Stab it! Oh, literally! Just like Leech, Dagger will operate every turn, breaking down the ice. As usual, you could speed up the program by giving it more slices. Yeah, I understand. Right, we've got to wait for it to figure it out. Oh, it said once it is down, do something. We're going to need to use the reroute thing. We're going to get full here. Alright. My turn. Let's move this time. Hopefully there can't be more... More thingies. Good work. There's another node here that we haven't seen before. A data node. Move to it. If you like, you can first clear out the financial node or drop a leech on it. We might as well leech it, right? I don't know how important it is to be collecting these um, financial credits. But maybe it's something you can judge as you go. Um, for example, like they're just optional and if you feel like you're doing okay, you can grab them. This is going to take away from our chance of slowing down the trace. But... Oh wait, we don't have... Oh yeah, we don't. We never activated that. 
Maybe I should have. What was it called? Slate? No. Cloak. Um. Oh, that one's done. So we move to D zero. You know what a data node? Data nodes can hold all sorts of interesting or valuable information. By interfacing with a data node, you can download its contents to your terminal. Remember, you can always check what happens when you interface with the node at the bottom. Yep, yep. Download the data from the node with the interface command. Do we have a program for this? Uh, it'll automatically complete within two turns. We've already done one action as well. I feel like I should do cloak. Whoops! That wasn't spelled right. Oh no, and then we have to end. Well, cloak. Do I need to turn you down to 30 odd percent so that you'll work? <laughs> Interface. Good. Downloading information can take some time. The next. The display next to the node will show how many turns are left before. Alright, yep, that display. Uh, maybe I should have done that and then I could have cloaked this turn, you know, like made a bit more efficient choices there. Should I? How? Where was the thing that got rid of the trace? Oh no. Uh, I did get that money. What else can I do? Just end the turn? I totally did that in the wrong order. Like, I didn't even think there's gonna be turns when there's nothing we can do, so I could have just cloaked now. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna lose. Okay. Is this scripted? Unable to open? That's not good. Oh, okay, well, fine. We can now exit. Uh, we got everything that we needed. Okay, okay. Cool. All the data bits you download from data nodes can be viewed in the information tab. Aha, let's check this out. Uh... Database contains all nodes and ice you have encountered. It also shows all the data you have collected from data nodes. Data can lead to new missions, programs, etc. Oh, I like that. Uh, so we're going to decrypt it and we'll find out what it is. An address or a new mission. We found intel. Uh, let's read it first before we go. From Daniel to Chris in the ghost network. I had the IT guy set up the ghost network. He threw in a hangman program for free to tighten up security. Not the game. Here's how I understand it. The system node monitors the the system node monitors the base network for transactions, intercepts them and skims a bit off the top before forwarding the transaction to the actual recipient. Obviously we need to cut him in so I offered him a 10% cut. This is gonna make us rich, dude. So this is what, they are just stealing... What, they're charging like 10% extra and then just taking the 10% out before it comes back to the company or something? Not, I don't understand, but that's fine. Uh, ice, so this is the binary wall thing. Vulnerable to brute force attacks. Oh, and then different types of nodes. So this is kind of like a... Ooh, cracking. Information broke, I snail. Associate and friend, Clover and Dare. So this is um, kind of like a codex thing, right? Oh, we got logs as well. I like the way that it um, highlights which letter. <clears throat> so mission log. Keeps a record of your exploits and what to do next. Uh, follow the trail left by the data bit. Right, which is what we are doing. Honeypot. 
Kraken was responsible for doxing you. Why? To answer that question, you need to find him first. Clover can help. Right, we are looking for him. Still can't get in the sentence. Um, some missions have specific requirements. For this mission, you need to equip a new program, Sniffer. Oh, so, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Requirements are the bomb. You can't get stuck because at least, like, you know what you need. Uh, you can manage your deck in the deck panel. Press D to access the deck panel. Let's go to the deck panel. Um, here you can change your program low down. Oh, you can have up to five. That, that's good. Because, uh, like, I guess once you get a few, it's going to get to a point where you have to choose, like, maybe not to bring the leech or something. Um, navigate the arrow keys. Uh, press the number. Okay, so we have the... I've forgotten what it was. The sniffer. Reveals hidden... Ah, this is... Yeah, this is what I said. Oh, so you would have to, like, use a turn every node to check if there was anything blocking it? That's heavy. Um... Don't know what that bottom bottom bit means um oh, it takes two slices cool right let's go then um it says enter chat to switch to the chat window i wonder what that's about uh, last time jumping the connection blind triggered a binary wall. This time you come prepared. Use sniffer to test if the connection is protected by ice. Uh, sniffer is different from other programs. You need to tell it which connection to investigate. Ah, so enter sniffer. So I wonder if you can do it in distant nodes as well. Uh, runs for a certain amount of turns and cannot be removed or boosted with additional slices. Right. Uh, Sniffer will eat up slices for two turns. After that, it will remove itself. Cool. Uh, a safe tactic at the cost of slowing you down. Yes. Uh, okay, so... Alright, we are being set free. Good luck with clearing out the remaining nodes. Uh, the dagger is the one that we need to use. Yeah. Um, slice and like slice would be good. Like for example, where we were last time when we didn't have anything left to do, we could like it would give us an opportunity to sniff in advance. <laughs> um, slice allows. The slice command, yes, 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 I know, I know, I got this. I got this, the dagger. And then there's nothing else that we can actually do there. Oh no. Still not done? That's not good, eh? So... Access node, interface reroute. We have to be on this node to be able to use decrease trace by three. So like, maybe that's worth using at the be Like, if you end up stuck here for ages. Um... I mean, the dagger's still on. Is there anything else we can do? Leech? No. Uh, no, I don't need to do another dagger, do I? I just need to end. There we go. Right, right, right. So now we can move. Although, I feel like I want to do the interface thing, because then I'll be back to zero, right? Because once we take this turn... Then we'll have three, you know? I'm gonna try it. There we go. And then now we'll sound from scratch. <laughs> oh! 
clock. I forgot we could do this. Oh. Does that say S? Oh, you have to get like... Oh, yeah. Slice. Clock six, right? Yeah, and then sniff S O. Oh, there's a noose. Oh, this is the hangman that it was mentioned. Increases the trace by one, removes all programs, and installs the noose. The noose prevents you from running a stealth program for a set amount of time. I feel like you don't want to get caught by the noose. Uh, so we're going to end this turn. Hopefully our dagger will like... Wreck it? Oh. Oh. Okay, so we need to then... Slice. Cloak. One. No. I don't know what happens if I do chat. Ah, there isn't one. I wonder if we'll get to know, like, friends through the chat. So we got... Dagger... Ah, I forgot how much dagger needs. You know what? This is free to do, so... Like, we need to get rid of that before we can do anything else. So what if we just put that down to two? It's only a stupid small chance, but... Oh, this is going to take ages. So we now can... That program is running, that program is running. Nothing else we can do until that's done, right? Ooh, it failed the trace at 18% chance. Uh, anything else we can... Oh! Oh, that's gonna take... Yeah, 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 leech. It's only got two things on it, right? There we go, while we're waiting. Tracing failed again? 18%? I feel like the percentages are backwards. Alright, that's that done as well. So at this point, right, you want to change the clock. Or at least before the end of the turn. Uh, move. S. Oh. System nodes can control a variety of aspects of a network. Look at the bottom of the screen to see what it does. Yeah, think before you act. Your decisions can affect your reputation and the way people react to you. Hmm. Like, what, what's the choice that we have? We have to interact with it. Used by Daniel and Chris to steal from their employer skims. A little off each financial transaction passing through the network. Can we either like reroute it to ourselves or shut it down? Uh, yeah, we can. Forward evidence to police. Reroute funds to personal account. So we 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 can either go on the journey of being like uh, just a. The hacktivist, like we were called at the beginning, where we are shutting down bad shit. Or we can be, you know, we can be a criminal ourselves. I am going to forward the evidence to the police because I don't want to be arrested. Uh, reputation plus one, nice. So then, but the other way, I don't know if minus reputation, what that does, but... Also, we would get more money, so maybe it's pros and cons. Uh, clock. Eight. 
Oh. Slice. Cloak. Yeah. I like that you can do it before you end your turn. I think we can just exit the next one anyway, right? Filled again! Losers. Uh, yeah, exit. Hey, we're doing stuff here. White hat, rep white hat reputation gained. Okay. I wonder if there's different types of reputation. Because, like, doing bad things, you still get a reputation, you know? It's just a very different type of inf inf uh, information <laughs> reputation. Okay, Snail's got something. Kraken's been working for the triad lately. Mostly swiping medical databases. Kind of menial stuff, but the info seems legit. Anyway, his focus lately has been something called Sunny Corp. Healthcare tech or something. Maybe that'll get you somewhere? They are corrupt as fuck, I'm telling you. I know it. Oh, you can press tab to auto-complete. That's better. Uh, thanks. I can work on... I can work with that. Let me check if the intranet has anything on Sanicorp. Any... no. About this whole thing with... About this whole thing with Kraken leaking my identity. It's not revenge, you know? I just need to know why he did it. How he got hold of the information in the first place. I owe you, Clover. It would be good to know how is very important if we don't know how he did it. Uh, that means there's a gap somewhere in our security, and that makes me think it's somebody that knows us. Mm-hmm. We've been betrayed. The intranet is a search engine that crawls a wide range of information sources. Use it to find intel on various topics. Okay. Oh, okay. Look through the wires database. So what what were we looking for actually? Logs. Sunny Corp, that's the one. The intranet. Oops! There we go. Fourteen data points? Uh, arrow keys to navigate information. Um, healthcare sector. Nope. Nope. Global medical files. Vulnerabilities? Deficient security. Rigger compromise. Anal compromise. Oh, it flashes if it's something we can um, interact with. Marcielli? Don't know what that means. Is it a place? Uh, you've dug up useful intel about your target. Go to the email screen to tell Clover about what you found. Just want to check the log. Okay, the log is just telling us what we need to do. Send email to Clover. Subject. Kraken's next hit. I looked into Sunny Corp. Kraken's been raiding their data centers one by one. There's one left untouched. We need to get in there, Clover. Catch him in the act. Ah, that's what's happening. Let's do it. So, oh, we went in. It's here. It's here. Okay, yeah, that seems like a good bet. Could we pull off a honeypot? Track Kraken the moment he touches it? If you get to that network first, maybe you could install a Trojan on the data node. They go for pretty cheap on the black market, right? What do you think? Ooh. Sounds like a plan. Plan a Trojan, wait for Kraken to take the bait. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, we are, like, getting in there ahead of him. Right, let's buy a Trojan. Uh, installing a data node increases breaker damage by 10% and offers 10% chance to stop the trace per infected data node. Wait, what? Takes four rounds to install. Hmm. Um. Well, yes, I need to buy one. Ah, there's all credits. We have 330. Oh, programs, hardware, and child something? I imagine that, like, obviously later on you're gonna get the freedom to 
do the um, missions as you kind of want or like figure it out yourself at least. Remember that you need to equip, yes I do. You can purchase, yes, and then the deck, that's it. So five. So we've got all of our stuff now. And a dress. We've got the Trojan. Let's go. And then yeah, so we'll always only need to have the necessary stuff. And then we can add... Ooh, there's two roots. This time your objective is to reach the data node and install the Trojan program. Optionally, you can loot the financial nodes. Ah, so this is why the this interface is good. You could go another way, like on a detour, grab some cash, come back, and then start from scratch. Mm. You can control the camera by holding control and using the arrow keys. Final tip, many commands have aliases, short or all alternate versions. For instance, move can be dot. Ah, so this has the same effect. Ah, okay, I'll see if I can remember that. Uh, the help command, yes, yes, yes. So we can get a kind of a look. So that's the one we want to do. So really, we want to go to F0 first, right? So what we first want to do is a sniff. Oh, we can only do it. Okay. So we want to do it. It doesn't maybe matter if there's one that way. I'm not sure how's the best way to do it. So C10. No. C0. So there is a wall there. Uh, I want to do a cloak. That's only going to have four though. Oh no, it can have <laughs> can have six for this turn and then I'm gonna need to set the dagger away. Is that right? Yeah. Yay, failed. Okay, so do I have to stay on this space for the dagger to work? Oh danger. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So slice, claw, two, no, four. No, three, right? And then I'm gonna have three on the dagger. And then can I just... Oh, I've got time, right? Because I can erase everything from here. So can I sniff? Ooh, that means I need, uh, you know what, fuck it, let's see what happens if I try and move to F0. Hey, there was nothing there! Nice! Okay, and the turn? My dagger still works, okay, that's good. Uh, so we can... What we probably want to do now, right, is we use the leech on this. Oh, hold on. Is there any point or do we just... So to drain it, it would take us two goals. So or we could leech and move away. Yeah. And then move. Is zero and then we're using all of our thingies the leech is doing that okay oops and we're gonna get a trace this time yeah can't believe that's still not done um Ooh, so 
Right, that is done next turn. We might as well do the interface thing, right? The cloak is still happening. The leech is happening for two more turns. Well, my dagger will be done, so I can put more into leech next time. But yeah, I don't know what else we can do from here. Just I haven't forgotten anything, have I? Might as well just do this and get that one turn back. Because I don't think we'll be coming back here now. But I can imagine there's going to be all different ways that you can go and come back and meet at the middle. Uh... Yes, we are back to square one, but with more bunnies. And with a wall busted. So... Move to C0 now. Oh, the sniff is like... It takes up resources. It's like... Do we want to use... Well, yeah, we have to use it, but it's like annoying. The connector node, this one doesn't have anything. But this... Okay, there's a noose there, so... Oh, God. We can't alter how much the sniffer uses. Um, so what if we go... Uh, slice, cloak... Two. And then we can get the dagger back in. Oh, we can't because we need to end the turn. Now we can put the dagger on. Oh, wait, my turn! I'm just getting my hand. Um, oh, so I shouldn't, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have, I should have put these two slices back in a cloak before I ended the turn. Right, right, yep. Um, so this is going to take a while, but I'm going to have more slices after this turn. Because the leech will be done, the sniffer will be done. So, at this point, all we do is wait. Because there's no money that we can grab from this one. And then maybe next time we do a drain instead of just the tiny leech. Um, right, so... Oh no, hold on, let's try this. I think it was forward slash. Cloak and dagger. Uh, dagger. How does that do? That will be two more turns. What if we just did it to five? Twenty-eight. That would still be two more turns, right? So we can at least raise the cloak up to three think I'm doing this right? Oops. Just to maximize our stuff. Oh god. Gotta format correctly. There we go. Hopefully that's enough to do it in two turns. Yes it is. Okay. And again. Now we can move. Oh yeah, we get a crit on the last turn. Right, let's move. We do our spare slices. Oh no. Oh, we're being hacked. You are looking for me, I am looking for you. I contradict you, you contradict me. She had to die, she had to be better. Can I allow you to exist? Can you allow me to exist? If there's, right, if there's anything that can ever give me chills, <laughs> it's glitchy stuff. I've said about this in games I've played before. 
Never this glitches scares the hell out of me and I had goosebumps just then because that scared the hell out of me. So from those words that almost sounded like Kraken is us. Do we have multiple are we sabotaging ourselves? When they said she had to die, is it talking about like um data? Like maybe Kraken is the unmoral version of us. I'm not sure and then maybe we like right now I'm just getting into wild theory territory maybe we had to like um dox ourselves because we wanted to get rid of the goody two-shoes hacktivist and start me and bad you know I don't know <laughs> all right let's download this information three turns oh so we could also race to the objective and then run back and get the money i guess there's different ways that you could do it you'd have to calculate it um if you want it to be the most efficient i mean we've got loads of turns so i think it's fine oh wait we can also put all of our slices back into cloak now there's nothing else here that we can do is there Thankfully, we're doing all right. There we go. Yes, let's decrypt it. Hey guys, I got this email about my Sonicorp account password changing and I don't remember doing that. I guess that's because of the website you guys were doing. On that note, the job posting for the new SysOp is still unfulfilled please share it among your personal networks ah is that because kraken's breaking in that sending out an email about the password changing classic strats right oh we've got to install the trojan i forgot about that how do install a trojan Ah. So we got five on our clock and uh, Trojan. Oh no. Doesn't need the forward slash slash. Right, Trojan is installing. That takes four turns, right? We've still got enough, so that's fine. But also this is a point where we could move back and use our um, interface thing on our home to get like three thingies back. Oops. I don't suppose there's more stuff that we can like download. Okay. Uh, guess we just gotta keep skipping our turns. There's one more turn left, I think, based on the orange squares next to the Trojan. Orange seems to be like a fixed amount of time, and then blue is flexible things, I think. Right. We did it. Or were we the ones that sent the password so that we can hack in, you know? I don't know. Um, A plus. Good, 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 good. We didn't get any bonus. Don't know what we could have done to get bonus. And that's the demo. Thank you for playing. Midnight Protocol is now available on Steam. You can also join the conversation in our Discord. There we go. That is Midnight Protocol. That's an interesting take on turn based strategy. Um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of like it almost feels very puzzly you know and it's, it'll be interesting to see what kind of puzzly type things you'll have to do like um because there's definitely going to be more mechanics you know like there's going to be plenty of um 
like blockages in a way but also like the Trojan was just the first thing what else is it gonna be and also just the story in general it seemed like there was something really sus there some I think that we are cracking we are data and cracking wild theories I know um, <laughs> but so yeah if you enjoyed the game you can get it on Steam right now um, and I think that's kind of all I've got to say about that. It is all just on your keyboard, obviously. Um, it's quite nice not needing to then like type with both hands and then move to your mouse. Like it was all just there without having to move, so it was very chill. Um, and I like the I like the idea of the strategy behind it and where it's going and stuff. Uh, so yes. Alrighty, that was Midnight Protocol. Thank you so much, anybody, for watching. And I'll be back next time with some more games that I saw during the big adventure event. Uh, two more free-to-play games from that. And then I've got other things I would like to play too. So, lots of indie games. And I'm really excited to get onto them. So, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.